On the other hand, you know, Bitcoin is a much more ambitious project, right? We're not just trying to make yet another thing like something that already exists, which is basically what Linux was trying to do. Uh, we're trying to make something really new. And that is, is, you know, it is much more ambitious as a project. So it's going to have its own issues, but there's definitely echoes, right? There are some, there were some crises in the early days of Linux that no one remembers now, but they were huge at the time, you know, massive governance crises about how things would be run or how some you know, decisions were made or, or, or big, big things about, should we go this way or that way, uh, that are completely water under the bridge now. Uh, but at the time were, you know, hugely distressing and, and, and major, you know, uh, major crises in the project itself. Um, so I think that reassures me sometimes when we have, you know, the inevitable Bitcoin crises that, you know, once you've been through a crisis once, you have a bit more perspective over what it takes, you know, what happens and everything else. But your first crises are always, you know, uh, emotional and, and difficult and you don't, because you don't know what's going to happen. This whole thing could fall apart over this, you know, uh, random hard fork or whatever it is that's proposed. And so I think, you know, I see us on a similar kind of maturity path where we feel like, cool, okay, we've done this before. We kind of have a roadmap now on, on, on how this stuff happens. Um, so I do see that maturity process happening now um, in the Bitcoin space, which is, which is fairly reassuring. But, you know, different projects are different. And Bitcoin has a whole pile of layers of things that are not, you know, not directly computer science related, um, the whole uh, economic side and things like that, which which have their own significant part, right? Um, and, you know, and, and that that leads a whole different light. But we're also we're also in a very different time, right? You know, instead of sort of slashed up, we've got Twitter and, and, and uh, kind of much more ferocious, I would say, almost gamed, kind of weaponized social media and things like that, which I think make project that's coming into its own as a higher profile project more difficult and more stressful for the people involved so i i am slightly concerned that that you know that will become a problem um that you know it's not as easy as it used to be you know once it was a race out of that core group of geeks who are hacking on something and think it's cool you inevitably go through this transition where um you're flooded by newbies um and you know, uh, uh, you you get attacked. You know, you get attacked from 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 all these directions from people, and that's just part of the the process um, that you inevitably go through as part of mainstreaming. And you know, I, I think we're we're seeing that now. Only a lot more people care about money than care about software. So Bitcoin's battle is proportionally much larger, I think.